All right, guys, we're back at Mexico at the wall. We're heading that way, except this time, not by myself. And we were going no bow, not so bow. AZT, baby, let's get it. Let's go! Woo! All right, first day in the books. Got about seven miles in, a little over seven. Camping just below Bathtub Spring. First cowboy in a while. Feels good. Made it to camp for the night. Got some decent looking water. Looks like some cows have been in there, but looks fairly clear. Find out shortly. It's actually not too bad. So started over there, or just behind that uh, peak, Miller Peak, a couple days ago. It was that Sunday? So two days ago now. It's kind of cool to see where you're at. The little windmill spring. Let's get pull this puppy down. Some good water. All right, 
Made it to the uh, highway to cut off. If you go that way, continue on the new Arizona Trail, I guess. Uh, about eight miles to hitch into Patagonia. If we go this way, which I believe is the old trail, takes you right into Patagonia, cuts off about two or three miles. So normally I'd like to hitch, but I think I'm just gonna go this way, walk right in. Okay, hopefully we can go downhill now. Hope we can see Patagonia. All right, finally made it down to this little connector road that leads into Patagonia. It's about two and a half miles into town. Could hitch, I'm not sure, but I'll probably just walk it. Back on the asphalt, definitely faster hiking, but not as comfy as the trail, that's for sure. There's actually been quite a bit of traffic on this road. Pretty much all border patrol though. Just cruising around. All right, just made it into Patagonia. About to get some ice cream, something to drink. It's nice and toasty out here. Bucket wash. It's all on the legs here. Taking a day off here. No Patagucci. Down a little cruise. Got the essentials. Not much more that you need. Good morning. It's about 7:30. Still a terror soul. About to head out this morning. I highly recommend. If you're a hiker, biker, or van lifer, just to check this place out, 25 bucks a night. Give you a little pad to sleep on, it's kind of nice. Freight train was even impressed by it too. <laughs> All right, after about a six or seven mile road walk, we've made it back to the trail. I'm about to start climbing about seven-ish miles to the top. So earlier, I said that uh, we were back on trail, but we were actually off by like 200 yards back on this road. Heading up this mountain. Finally back on single track. Feels good. Got that nice long climb, been rewarded with some ice cold water. Let's go. All right, made to Kentucky camp. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, looky here. Got some trail magic, baby. Give me a tree. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Did not expect this. Thank you. 
May it do some good water here. Huh? Cattle trough. Oh man, yeah, this is not gonna be too fun. All right, got a pretty early start this morning. Uh, it's not even seven yet, 6.55. Decided to leave the uh, metal cattle trough back there and head to a resupply box like 3.7 to kind of eat breakfast and recharge, get the day going. Uh, that water source back there. Filtered clear, wasn't that bad, I've had worse, but there's a cache with like 20 gallons and three and a half miles, so much rather just go there. What I like to see. All right, we've hit a hundred miles, baby. Cruising. So we're gonna be actually going up there in a couple days, probably hard to tell in here, but Mount Micah. It's supposed to be a pretty good climb, good views from the top. Gonna go and check out Vale first. Yeah, definitely not the uh, oasis in the desert I was looking for. Pretty nasty water here. I think I'm just gonna skip this. Oh yeah. Cows seem to love it though. How can you blame them? Water and shade. to the road. Joined the brew, made it to town. All right, just gotta drop back off the highway. We're at the trail, I can say. And heading to Oracle. Gonna be heading up that direction, up towards Mount Micah. Probably get up there tomorrow. It is almost two o'clock now, so we're just gonna do like 10 to 12 miles, call it for the day. Should be a good day. Going underneath Interstate 10. So just cross this drainage or creek down here. On the other side, it was essentially dry, as you saw before, but came over here and now there's saguaro everywhere. And it's just really lush and green, beautiful. It's pretty cool how fast the landscape can change. Also saw our first rattlesnake. That's pretty cool.
Got a good bit to go. All right, good morning. <clears throat> Got a big day ahead. Just after seven, we're gonna do about 24, 25 ish miles today. And we've got about 6,100 feet of gain as we go over Mount Micah. So, should be a pretty tough day, but rewarding as we get up there. All right, on the final push up Micah. Got about five miles to the top. It's been beautiful up here, but it's been hot and exposed. Ready to get to the top. That's a big old fuck off. Yeah, this one's pretty big. Yeah, he's down in there, underneath that rock. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. Keep on strolling. Best water I've seen on trail yet. Oh yeah. He said he was like side Finally made it to the top. Well, leaving the lushness of the mountain up there. There's nice water everywhere. It's nice and cool. We're back down at around 4,000 feet. And it's getting hot again and back to not the best water. We'll see what we can find. Well, this cow pond, unfortunately, this looks like the last good water, or at least reliable water since I'm here. 
uh, in the next six miles. But six miles from now, I uh, should be reaching Molino Campground. And there's a good resupply box there. Got about a liter. It's nice and toasty out though. It's taking a little break under the shade tree. I think I'm just going to push with one leap for the six miles and uh, fill up whenever I get to Molino. Also have a buddy that may or may not be there and help us out. A little trail angel magic. We'll see. All right, made it to the Molino Basin Trailhead. And that is a good sight. Oh my gosh, so happy to see that. Thank you to whoever put the water here. Cannot wait to chug. All right, good morning. Just left Molino Campground. Had an awesome night. Had some trail magic from a good friend. Shout out Giving Tree. Had some cheese, egg, and potato burritos. Couple beers. Freaking awesome night. Heading up to the top of Mount Lemon today, 21 and a half miles. And Giving Tree was also nice enough to slack pack us. So I don't have much weight in my pack. So it should be a pretty good day. We've got about 6,000 vert to do. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. Can't wait to get to the top of Mount Lemon. Pretty cool to see where we came from over there, Mount Women, Tucson, down in there. And probably can't see on the camera, but heading to Oracle, which is right down there. You can see all the towns. It's about 13 miles away, so should be in town this early afternoon. Hit the 200 mark, baby. Just keep on cruising. deer right there also looks like that's a jinx ranch where i'm headed one really cool thing about this trail is just seeing like we're going to be going from range to range so it looks like oracle's down here and it's going to be pushing on to that range it's beautiful out here made it to high jinx
All right, made it to Highway 77. Here he's underneath the highway. And I'm gonna go hitch in. Well, I've just made it into Oracle. Probably waited less than a minute for the hitch. It was like the third car that picked me up. Dropped me off at the gas station. Got some ice cream, some snacks. Uh, yeah, now just hanging out underneath this shade tree in the side of town. So uh, trying to figure out what to do next. All right, here at the Resting Oak, staying up there in the RV or stayed there last night. Just hanging out in town for a little bit today. They're gonna head back out to the trailhead, just get a couple miles in. Uh, next town is Kearney. Looks like it's 57 miles away, so should be able to get there by Wednesday morning. But for now, it's gonna pet some horses.